Today I'll be listing my top 5 films of 2018. Now, there were a lot of great films that came out last year and it was very difficult for me to narrow it down to my top 5. But I've made a list including my personal favourites, ones that I think are very well crafted and overall just enjoyable. Before I get started, I need to let you guys know that there are a few films that I wanted to watch this year but I never got to. So I'm gonna have to wait till they come out on DVD to watch them. So this list may change slightly but I highly doubt that. Getting into it, let's get started with one honourable mention. I have to mention A Star Is Born. Now this is the fourth remake I believe of this actual story itself and I haven't seen the older versions but this version was very touching. I cried at the end and I loved Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga's chemistry on screen. That said, the reason this doesn't make my top 5 is because it felt like the film was lagging a little, uh, dragging on somewhere inside the midsection of the film itself. It felt like it was going on for a bit too long and it just got a little bored. But then again, the starting, most of the middle and the ending are great. Getting into fifth position is Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Now, I love ABBA, you guys all know that. And I liked, I really liked the first Mamma Mia movie. And then seeing this one in cinemas and going there, I went with my friend Caitlin who's also a really big ABBA fan. It was really fun and I loved it. I really stopped myself from singing when the songs were um, being played on screen and everything. And it was very hard to do so, but I really, I really liked that movie. And it's just a pure enjoyable movie and for an ABBA fan like me, there's no way it can't make the top 5 of this list. Coming in at number 4 we have Searching. Now this is a movie that's really well made. It has one obvious twist per se, which you could just see coming from the moment they set it up. But over the overall twist and the overall ending and the overall execution of this film itself is really well done. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about this film a few weeks after I saw it. But then I was reminded about it and I was like, yeah, this was really good. I was looking at how I rated it, what I talked about it in my notes and stuff like that. And yeah, it was really well made. It's made filming on screens and it's just that twist itself, I didn't see coming. And I was really shocked by what was going on. But the story itself is intriguing. The execution is great. The acting is great. And it is a very unique film that is honestly amazing. Coming in at number 3 we have Black Klansman. Now this is a really enjoyable film. I was afraid when going into it that it would be uh, really heavy handed on the fact that it's talking about a black culture issue and talking about those topics but it was executed very well. I really enjoyed it. I got emotional near the end and I laughed when there were jokes being played on and it was really funny and entertaining. There's not much I can say about it because it's just a great movie overall and I really enjoyed it. The acting was great, the directing, the writing, and I know it's based on a book inspired by the actual true story and everything. Whether it's accurate or not, I have not done the research into it, but from what I believe it is accurate, so that has that going for it as well. Coming in at number 2, we have Avengers Infinity War. Now this is that comic book movie which generally makes a top list for many people's best movies of the year, and I love this movie. I'm yet to watch Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so at the time of uploading this, I haven't seen that yet, but I've heard great things about it. So that film, it, when I watch it, it could easily make this list or push Infinity War down based on the reviews I've heard. But for now, Infinity War is my favorite film, comic book film, and my second favorite film of 2018. It's amazing. The fight scenes are great. There's only one fight scene where Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and that girl alien, I can't remember her name, and they're there fighting in that little pit thingy. That was a pretty eh fight scene to be honest, but everything else that was going around it was amazing. One of my favorite movie going experiences of all time is actually Thor arriving in Wakanda. I got goosebumps when that happened, it was such a cool scene, and I really enjoyed it. Coming in at number one, we have A Quiet Place. Now this film, I didn't expect it to be this good until I heard the reviews about it 
until I heard people say that it was so good. My sister told me that when, when we watched it, my sister told me that she heard some bad things about it, but I heard nothing but good things about it, and I was thrilled when I saw this movie. John Krasinski, I love The Office, one of my favourite shows of all time, and he wrote, wrote it, directed it, and then he stars in it, and it's amazing. I was so tense when watching this film, and I really love how it was executed with the lack of sound, and how they're prepared in this universe that they go into. I'm a little worried about there being a sequel to this that's coming out, but I just hope that they don't really dry this out. Just because it was successful doesn't mean you necessarily need a sequel to it. Anyhow, the acting was great, the storyline was amazing, these little details you noticed were great. There was only one jump scare, which was with a raccoon or something, and it kind of like it didn't piss me off, but it was just a little irritating how it was a fake jump scare and everything was a raccoon instead of one of the creatures. Other than that, it was a great film. I honestly really loved it, and it's my favorite film of 2018. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. Leave a comment in the comment section down below on what your favorite film is of 2018. Do you agree with my choices? Do you disagree? Let me know. Make sure you also support me on my Patreon account, link in the description down below and on the end screen coming up. I'll catch you guys next time.